And there I was. I was the girl from Suits. This one's wife. She sent a message. So stunning. So brave. Yes, the living saint continues to wow and amaze us with her brilliant and fascinating behaviours. She sent a message. We don't know if it was in a bottle, as Sting once sang about. We don't know if it was tied to the leg of a pigeon. We don't know if the message was wrapped around a brick and thrown through somebody's window. But we are told that a message was sent. Yes, this is clearly earth-shattering news which deserves to be spoken about and to be broadcast around the world. And who better, of course, than People.com to be the carrier of this message about the message. Another puff piece generated in this PR churning publication on behalf of this one's wife, ensuring that the facade is managed, ensuring that you have your daily diet of dross about this one's wife, that she fills up your news feed, that your ears start to bleed with the banality of her life, the emptiness of her activity, the repeated quest for fuel, as her levels of self-absorption shatter all self-absorption monitors around the world. This time, Janine Henney writes in The People, This one's wife sends message to, drumroll please, <laughs> Kelly Clarkson, for it is she, but she didn't send it directly. Oh, no. That would be beneath her. She used a conduit. She sent it via a Suits co-star. And, get this, she also reveals that she voted for Kelly Clarkson on American Idol. There is no end to the Duchess of Industrial Beige's talents. It's utterly staggering just how radiantly talented she is. She walks, she talks, she applies bronzer, she utilises a rictus grin, and now, unlike any other person in the history of ever, she dispenses a message through somebody else. Fantastic. People.com, enlighten us further. This one's wife sent Kelly Clarkson a special message through her friend, Abigail Spencer. Well, shit the bed. You know, it reads like something that would occur in a primary school playground. Miss? Miss? What is it? Tina said through Jennifer that I smell. I don't smell, miss, do I? No, Chardonnay, you don't smell. This one's wife sent Kelly Clarkson a special message through her friend Abigail Spencer, probably saying, get out of the Wendy house, it's my turn. On Monday, Spencer, 42, appeared on the Kelly Clarkson show with her extended family co-star, Donald Faison, where she revealed that the Duchess of Sussex is a fan of the singer. Well, that's good to know, and very important reporting. This one's wife says hello and that she loves you, and that she voted for you on American Idol, she told the host. It worked, Clarkson joked, referring to her big break as the season one winner of the singing competition in 2002. Well done, this one's wife. You've dragged up something from 22 years ago. Hmm. Spencer relayed that this one's wife, <clears throat> 42, was just having dinner with Michael Bublé, triangulation, bringing up the past, who said, you are the greatest singer on earth. And Clarkson self-deprecatingly shot down the compliment. This was unsolicited. She did not know I was coming on here. We were just chatting, and I was like, oh, I'm going to see Kelly next week. And she's like, I have a message, Spencer said. Ah, a message from the desk of the office of the Duchess of Sussex. How grandiose. So, the co-star is going on a programme which involves Kelly Clarkson, and therefore, this one's wife decides, oh, I'm so terribly important, 
and you, Abigail Spencer, are just one of the little people, so you can take this message for me and deliver it to Kelly Clarkson, because I'm too grand and important to contact Miss Clarkson herself. In fact, what I'm going to do is use you to convey the message on my behalf, relaying just how important I am that I can get a co-star to ferry messages for me, and also to demonstrate my haughty aloofness by not contacting Kelly Clarkson directly, because actually I couldn't give a rat's ass about her. I'm just doing this to make myself look good. Accordingly, this one's wife grandiosely passes a message with Abigail Spencer to take to Kelly Clarkson. We're then told, in this riveting piece of information, that Spencer and this one's wife starred together on Suits during its original run on USA Network starting in 2011. This one's wife stepped back from the legal drama shortly after she and Prince Harry announced their engagement in November 2017. Spencer attended the couple's royal wedding in London the following spring and was a guest at the Duchess of Sussex's New York City baby shower, where she was expecting Prince Sarchi for in February 2019. No, the video didn't speed up. I did, just to get through the boringness. This one's wife and Prince Harry, 39, later relocated to her home state of California after stepping back from the Royal Royals in 2020, and Spencer joined this one's wife at Prince Harry's polo match at the Santa Barbara Polo and Racquet Club in May 2022. Spencer got talking about the Duchess of Sussex after Faison spoke about his long-time friendship with Zach Braff, after Clarkson asked if she had someone like that in the industry. It was 2007. I was doing a pilot for NBC, and I went to read with the people who were supposed to play my best friend. They were testing other actresses, Spencer said. I walk in. I see this beautiful, gorgeous creature at the end of the table, and I'm like, who is that? We had an immediate something you know, and her name is this one's wife. I think you must be confused if you're describing her as a beautiful, gorgeous individual creature. Yes, that might be accurate. The actress added that she and this one's wife immediately had a connection. Mm, you can see why you're friends. And Sue learned they shared the same birthday. Ho! Oh, zippity doo It was just something between us, Spencer said, fondly recalling how they crossed paths again when cast together on suits. In case you didn't know this, the future Duchess of Sussex played paralegal Rachel Zane, while Spencer appeared as Dana Scott, the rival and love interest of Harvey Specter. Our friendship really developed during that time and deepened. She's an incredible person, Spencer, told Clarkson of this one's wife. It then goes on telling us more about suits that we already know. But there we are. Another instance of how this one's wife needs to keep herself in the news, this time as a consequence of passing a message on through a co-star that enables her to blather on about how wonderful this one's wife is. I should imagine that this one's wife didn't even vote for Kelly Clarkson. It's just a revision of history. And this, of course, is being done in order to manage the facade. Oh, I'm a really nice person. I took the time to vote for Kelly Clarkson. And I'm pretty cool because I watched American Idol as well. And I'm so special you're going to feel so thrilled that I've taken the time to send a message through somebody else, not contact you directly, you're not that important, but you should feel thrilled that me, the most important woman on the planet, has bothered to send you a message. Aren't you grateful? In fact, you probably want to take the segment of your show and ensure that it's on a continual loop where it's mentioned about my message. That's how important I am. This is the dross that's associated with this one's wife. No major achievements, no stunning revelations, nothing interesting about what she's actually done, but simply she believes that the world ought to know about the fact that she sent another woman a message through another woman, and the world really needs to know all about that. You can just see... How self-absorbed this woman truly is. I'm H.G. Tudor. Thank you for listening.